Hello again everyone, Saki here and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo Career Mode and in the last episode we finished up squeezing the margins with the Myers Lake Island Zoo, got our gold star and now it's time to look at Myers Animal Entertainment Park where old Dom decided to build a casino, that casino failed and then he decided to put a zoo around it. It's called Power Struggle, I'm thinking we're going to run into some power issues uh, but let's go ahead and hop on into it and see what kind of mess we've inherited now. All right, we are in India, and it's a pretty built-up location, that's for sure. Are we restricted to inside these walls? That is indeed so, the question. After you did such sterling work with that last zoo, I've got a reward for you. Right. A trip to India, so you can fix up the mess one of my other zoos has gotten into. Just to give you a little history, the zoo used to be a casino I had a majority share in, but we had to shut it down. Apparently building a casino so it looks like a temple is in poor taste. Yeah? Hey, it's Jafar. Well, I had workers converting the casino grounds into a zoo, but they've not done a brilliant job. We keep having power outages which turn our electric fences into regular fences. Animals escape, people scream, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Not an ideal situation, so do something to fix it. We'll Especially do our best. I want you to get some Bengal tigers and put them around the old casino building. I'm all for gambling, but not with people's safety, and not just because of the fines. You say that. Uh, hey, some gharials. All the water. It's extremely unpleasant at the moment, and will not be good for the animals. I'd really hate for them to get sick. Because Jeez, yeah, that looks brown. Oh, and I found some elephants down the back of my proverbial sofa. So find somewhere for them, would you? I think I might be able to find some bears back there too. So we'll be getting some gifted okay, animals. Good. You should probably head off now. Win big for me. All right, we're going to try, and I imagine the first episode is going to be a lot of cleanup and trying to get this place under wraps. We need 90% cleanliness for all habitat lakes. We need to adopt and place five Indian elephants. Oh, good. The reward section. So we don't have to purchase them, thankfully, and a yearly shop profit of $11,000. All right, so first and foremost, let's get this park up and running before we even look at that sort of thing. He was mentioning power issues, and the park is indeed covered pretty well, but I've got a feeling that the maintenance crews are not uh, either able to reach these power supplies... So research center and a workshop, that's fine. High amounts of litter and a cleanliness risk, of course. Let's take a look at the water. Yeah, there's no water purification at all, it doesn't seem. So we'll need a water purifier back here. We'll need a water purifier maybe on this backside as well to, to reach this. And if we're cheeky, we might be able to squeeze in a water purifier around here. That way we can reach both of those lakes. But either way, that water is jacked up for sure. And uh, it's kind of almost overwhelming where to start. So we've got good power. That's the first and foremost thing. If we take a look. So it's 100% scenery rating. Can our mechanics get there? I mean, we're not, we don't have an alert that says that the, they are unreachable. But we may have too much of a load. Connected objects, 359 objects connected. Yeah, instead of every year, let's service every six months. Yeah, let's do that. Then we'll, we'll probably hire some more mechanics on the payroll. Because if these things are 606 objects connected... Yeah, there's just so much stuff. That's connected to these generators. It, it's no wonder that the power keeps going out. It's got good scenery rating, though, and good blocking. But yeah, I think some servicing every six months may do the trick. At least get them there before something bad happens. How many mechanics do we have on payroll? We've got three mechanics on payroll. And we got Mechanics West and Mechanics East work zone. Alright, so we've got some different work zones here. 
So the Gariel and Rhino seems to be sort of double covered. We've got that, we've got that, and we've got that. Yeah, it kind of looks like these entry gates are not serviced by them as well. So we will go ahead and add them. Is there anything else that is not being tended to? It doesn't look like it. All right, Mechanics East. So Mechanics are taking part in all of these. Then we got the Shops Top. So some no staff zone in the work zone. We might have to fix that, not sure. With these being sort of double covered though, we might not need it as long as these things are being serviced by somebody. Mandrill and Peafowl seems to be double covered. So it sort of looks like we've got good work zone coverage. It's just a matter of making sure we have the staff available to do it. We have $20,000. We may have to let the game run just a little bit to get some money in the pocket and just sort of see where we're sitting. Let's take a look at our future. So gas happiness is 65%. Build a habitat around the Bengal temple. All right, so this will be the Bengal tiger exhibit right here. Okay, capture all escaped animals. So this almost looks like a Jurassic World evolution thing where there's gonna be a scripted event where some animals are going to break free. Uh, maybe it's gonna turn off all the generators at once and we've gotta do some servicing and whatnot to get prepared for that and a shop profit of 13. Power everything in the zoo with renewable energy. And that's gonna be nuts. Do we have the, do we even have the knowledge of renewable energy? So we've got wind turbines. I don't know if we can research solar, but that might be something to look into. Four different species in a single habitat two Himalayan brown bears, adopt and place the rescue animals, and a shop profit of 15,000. All right. So this is a good place to start. The water is a must. So first and foremost, let's do that. Let's see how much water purification costs, 2,000 per, and we can sort of attach it to the work zones that are already here. All right, let's take a look at the water. First and foremost, we need this area done. And how much does this water purification do? So if we centralize it, we can get those two fine. We just need to place it somewhere around here. And with this staff path, it almost looks like we would be able to squeeze it in right here but we can't modify the terrain. Man, this is a perfect spot. We can put it across. Okay, so we can put it in the, the future tiger's pin as long as we put a staff path walkway in here. See if we can kill two birds with one stone. Geez, so we need to get those pools as well. So ideally, some place around here would be good. So does that mean we can sort of tear down this wall and make this a staff entrance? What exactly is in here? Mandrills? Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, can we get cheeky and put a, a guest gate down? Something like this. And then what we'll do is we'll make this a staff path only. And continue on through here. And then maybe, just maybe, that's a little bit weird. Is that a rock we can delete? Yes, indeed. 20 bucks for us. All right, let's get the water purifier down. Okay, and that will cover that little bit of water there, those two pools there, and just get in to that water over there. As long as we go, say, right here. 
All right, so we'll play, take a look at the water, and indeed those three are being cleaned up. So now we just need to focus on a water purifier over here. Something like so. We could fit it, say, right here, ideally. That would be really, really good. We could do some cheeky, uh, some blocking. That way the guests are not affected by the negative impact. All right, so that water is being purified as well. All right, let's take a look. All right, so it's actually being blocked completely. The negative impact on guests. Yeah, so they're going to see a little bit of negative impact as they walk this path and right here, but this is a staff-only path, I believe. Yeah, so guests are not going to be affected by this water purification place. Yeah, four treated bodies of water. All right, so... Okay, now we need to assign some work zones as they are working in the work zone. And the closest... All right, so we can assign that water purifier to Mechanics East. And how about Mechanic West? Yeah, so it looks like Mechanics are already going to be over there. We'll assign that one to Mechanics West. And get these serviced every six months if we can. That way we won't fall behind just in case something decides to go a bit uh, pear-shaped. Let's take a look at the negative impact on guests. So right here we sort of need to build a bit of a wall. And since this is the mandrills, let's see what kind of terrain the mandrills like here for their plants. Actually... Yeah, it looks like we've got some crappy plants that they don't even like in here. So let's put some coverage over here then. Uh, let's get the African tropical biome down. And I'm almost scared to look at the animal welfare overarching. Because that is not going to be conducive. Ooh, kapok tree. I like it. So we got that there. Kapok tree too. We can put that there. And then how about a few tree ferns? Yeah, a tree growing out of a tree. That's what I want to do. A few tree ferns. A tamarind tree. Now I hope that the mandrills won't uh, climb these trees and then jump out. That wouldn't be conducive to work. Okay. Still not what they need. Yeah, the coconut palms are doing a whole lot of jack squat. Let's put a kapok tree more central then. There we go. So now the mandrills should be fine on their plants. Yeah, there we go. Now they're getting happy. And water is currently being treated. All right, high amounts of litter. The Gariels are at a disease risk. Probably, yeah, for the water. That should get uh, fixed a little bit more. We need a workshop and a research center. But I don't want to spend money on that just yet as that is not an immediate goal. But we're getting our cleanliness up. Hopefully our shop profits uh, can tick up. So let's go ahead and play for a bit. Let's let everything sort of settle in. Let's let the finances sort of balance themselves out. We'll see that water purify a bit. Yeah, 44. It's going up nice and steady. Then we'll have to place our five Indian elephants in the reward section. Let's take a look and see. They're Zoopedia. So they need 9,400 feet and 721 feet of water with a grade 4 boundary higher than 6.6 .6 feet. And I believe we do have... Yeah, we've got electric fencing. 
but they said that the strain on the uh, the power plant was a bit too much. So that's uh, going to be something to uh, look out for. Yeah, the water is about to get clean. And then what we'll do is, before we place the five Indian elephants, uh, we are going to take a look and see the overall animal welfare and get the animals squared away before we even add any new animals. All right, so our rhinoceroses, our one rhinoceros, has pretty bad nutrition. Last meal quality and last drink cleanliness. All right, so it's going to be one of those things where the uh, the rhino is going to have to get a drink. And just to sort of help it along, let's put down a, a water spout. That way, if the rhinos do get thirsty and they want to get something to drink, they can get uh, something clean. So the meal quality should go up. Hopefully, the rhino gets thirsty here soon, and that drink cleanliness will go up. If that's the least of our worries, then we'll be sitting okay, as that's the most uh, the most critical. Also, our Indian peafowl over here has poor nutrition due to the last drink cleanliness. So once again, waiting on this uh, water, which should be clean. So um, the next drink should be fine. Okay. The Baird's Tape here might be in the same situation. All right. So they had a good drink. Yeah, they're drinking from the fresh water, but they don't have any enrichment items. So let's go ahead and fix that up. Yeah, and they need plant coverage as well. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, their uh, habitat is 71%, and plants are the big reason why. All right, let's plant it up. And then once we get our feet under us, then, and only then, can we look at placing those... Um, those elephants. All right, South and Central America. Brazil nut tree. Okay, that's some decent coverage. Let's try a coconut palm. Yeah, it helps a little bit. They're not too uh, picky. Apple tree didn't do much. Holly trees are small. Yeah, we have the kapok trees already. There we go. So now the Baird's Tape here should be fine, aside from the enrichment. Okay. Baird's Tape here, enrichment. What can we do? Yeah, they don't have a thing. All right, Baird's Tape here. What do we know? We know they like a sprinkler. That's 50 out of 121. We've got them an ice ball. That's 100 out of 121. We've got a small ball. That's 150. We've got the large barrel feeder as well. And now they are all enriched up. So once they get some good meals, they'll be feeling much, much better in the grand scheme of things. Indian Rhino hasn't taken a drink yet. Peafowl hasn't taken a drink yet. Looking at the mandrills. So enrichment is struggling for them. All right, so let's get some mandrill enrichment up in here as well. So they need toy enrichment, it seems. Yeah, a lot of toy enrichment. All right. So filter species mandrill. And let's give them a grab ball. Let's give them a... They already have a sprinkler. Okay. They could do with the fixed barrel roller, I think. Yeah, that improves them all the way up, but we need more toys. Ooh, frozen block of fruit, is that a food enrichment? Yes, it is. So we actually don't need that at all. Uh, the block of ice might be a toy enrichment. Yeah, the ice block. So we're still a little bit short on their toys, but they're sitting much better than they were before. 
So that's 96%. All right, reward animals can be claimed, I know. High amounts of litter. Yeah, I think the next path for us is hiring... Yeah, we're at 4,000 on the profit. I think hiring more folks is the next plan of attack here. I don't think I'll give them a work zone. That way they can work wherever they are needed. So let's look at our staff. We've only got two caretakers and Mechanics West is completely overloaded. So we will go, let's say three caretakers for Mechanics, or two caretakers for Mechanics West. One and two. So you'll go Mechanics West, you'll go Mechanics West, and you'll go Mechanics East. That will help with the litter situation. The Mandrill and Peafowl Keeper is a little bit overwhelmed. So we'll put in the new keeper in the Mandrill and Peafowl area. Mechanics are okay, but I will just plop another one down just for safekeeping. Uh, two security guards are being overworked. Let's add one, two, and three. That should help the zoo with their litter situation a bit. Uh, we've got a few vendors that are worked. Shops top and shops inside. One, two, three. So that is going to be, uh, let's say, shops top. Let's say shops inside. And let's do another shops inside. And two vets with no work zone. They're gonna get overwhelmed for sure. One, two, and three. That way we can start with uh, some research if need be. And those vets can uh, hurry off to any enclosures that need them. All right, let's wait for our money to uh, get back since we are in a bit of a spending rush. All right, hopefully we can get some more people in here. Hopefully our balance can grow. We're not gonna claim our reward limit just yet. And we've got high amounts of litter right here on the main thoroughfare. And I can't, let me turn that heat map off. Yeah, so there's a walkway in here that it's tough to... Ooh, that's cool, though. But yeah, hopefully we can get a caretaker over here to uh, mop all of this up. Multiple buildings are without power. So this is where we are going to see where exactly our power issues are failing. Yeah, inefficient power. What we can do is we can start to get that renewable energy up because these things are just plain overloaded. Yeah, this is almost like rolling, uh, rolling brownouts. So maybe just maybe we can squeeze in renewable power over here if we knock down one of these walls. Can we? without really messing anything up, knock down one of these walls. Yeah, I can't edit the group. So I'll have to make do with what we've got. Uh, we need to make the entire zoo sustainable energy eventually. So let's go ahead and start that approach while we're here. Okay, so that will work over here. We've got security guard, we've got shops. But these shops really aren't doing a whole awful lot. This looks like a good place for solar, or I mean a wind turbine. Yeah, if we just back it up, say... Yeah, that's gonna be fine. If we can pull this load off of these guys, we'll be, we'll be good. Maintenance every six months. And let's go ahead and attach that to a work zone as well. Yeah, I tell you what, this uh, rolling power situation is going to be tough for sure. All right, Mechanics East. Let's go ahead and get that servicing. All right, on you go. Multiple buildings without power. 
We've got Keeper Hut 2 over yonder. And this place is on the struggle bus for power as well. Okay. Yeah, we need to help get the load off of this area. And are we near... Yeah, it's almost like we could put a gate in this fence and run the power over here. Let's give it a try. All right, so it's going to be a little bit cheeky. We might put one over here and then one over here. Just try to squeeze in as much as I can. Really finicky. But like right there would be really good. And then we can put another power system, say, over here. Yeah, I, I can see why they say this is uh, no power. That is for sure. Or a power struggle. So if we get every building in this that we possibly can, it's going to be right along this edge. All right, something like that. All right, let's go ahead to our barrier. Let's get the guest gate. We'll put that there and then make this a staff only path. Move these rocks a bit. And then run this to our generator. Like so. All right, that's up and running. So those buildings have power now. We just need to assign it a work zone. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of mechanics up in here, that is for sure. So mechanics east. All right, so that one is going. And now we have unpowered electric fence over here and a lot of buildings without power on this side. All right, let's get it. Yeah, unfortunately, it's gonna be a bit of a scumbag. We're gonna to have to put a power source over here and maybe like a power source over here and then one in the middle. Can we do that? It, yeah, it kind of looks like we have room for it, especially if we can sort of wall this up. It's almost like it was built for it. Yeah, I think that will be, that will be lovely. Okay, so there we go, and then we'll staff path this up. And then make that a work zone. And let's go, is it Mechanics West? Yeah, we can put Mechanics West on this one. All right, so that's gonna get a little bit more power of the situation. <laughs> Accessible staff room with space. We need the workshop still. What's our power situation like? So there's still some fencing and some, yeah, some things down here that need to be powered. And then there we go. So yeah, we've got sort of a rolling brownout situation that we can um, we can sort of mitigate if we double up on wind power. Yeah, and this almost looks like it was meant for it as well. So let's do that. We'll connect up a staff only path. 
Obstructed, huh? Okay, so... That'll work. We just need to... Remove that path and then get something a little bit narrower. To go this way. And then we can staff only. Right there. All right, so we've got some backup wind power. And that's going to be maintenance mechanics east. Okay, so a lot of renewable power. It's got perfect scenery rating. If we do negative impact on guests, it's going to be really small. The guests aren't even going to notice. So I think we're feeling okay. We might need some more staff rooms. High amounts of litter. So hopefully our caretakers are on it. Let's go ahead and find a... You're, you're commuting. Ooh, a three-star. Yeah, we'll pick up you. Hannah Miranda. We are going to move you. Right over here. All right, Hannah. Go ahead and get cleaned up, if you please. Yeah, Hannah's doing the good thing, cleaning things up. Getting all that litter out of the way. And then hopefully our uh, other caretakers are doing the same. I hate to sort of micromanage this to make sure that we get all of the all of the debris up, but we might have to. She's actually walking back this way, but I don't want to leave anything to chance. We'll pick her up. Oh yeah, we already got a, uh, a caretaker on the move. Good deal. Good deal indeed. Yeah, so that's the last little bit of litter there. Oh, we've got some litter over there. Excuse me, Roman. If you'd be so kind as to clean up some litter, please. Yeah, get all that crap. And that's at the main gate, too. Like, that's that's not good. We definitely need to get the litter taken care of quick, fast, and in a hurry. So that's the litter gone there. Those are power issues. Yeah, it looks like our caretakers have picked up all of the litter. It says high amount, but I don't see it on the walkways. Oh, crap. Yep, right there. Aeroman. Hate to, uh, hate to get you going, but we have another, another batch of litter, if you please. Yeah, so hopefully Roman can get this entire walkway cleaned up. And we might need some garbage cans in here because that is just nuts that people are dropping that many pieces of trash all in this place. Yeah, let's get the Indian bin in here. And it's going to be tough to put down as it's sort of tough to see in here. But we'll put a bin there, a bin there, and a bin there around the corner. Yeah, there's another garbage bin there. Doesn't look like there's one here. Hopefully that counts. Yeah, there's like a lot of donation bins in here, but not a whole lot of garbage cans. I don't know if that's a garbage can or not, but I'm going to double up. This is a nice area for sure. It's tough to sort of navigate. And we'll put one right by the restrooms as well. All right. So hopefully that litter is being policed up by Roman. Looked like Roman did a good job. So we've got reward animals. Veridis is our visiting player. We need a workshop and a research center. So for now, we're working on our bronze target uh, the year hasn't ticked by, so we don't know 
what our shop profit for the year is, but I don't know if we're ready to put down our five Indian elephants just yet. Uh, looking at the animal welfare, every the animals seem to be in good spirits. So I think in the next episode, we will start putting down uh, those five Indian elephants and then looking in the future, because in the future, we have to get the entire zoo with renewable power. So we need to sort of double up on those wind turbines. And right now we've got, you know, these massive generators here and here, but we've, we're starting to get some renewable energy in the center of the zoo. And that will go a, a long way to making sure everything stays good. Um, and, and get rid of these. Um, if the game is scripted to sort of have these rolling brownouts where the generators just stop working for a minute and the only way to make sure this stuff stays on is renewable power, then we definitely need to do that sooner or later. But we did get the water cleaned up and it's just a matter of finding a place for the five Indian elephants who need a lot of water. Um, would this be a place for the Indian elephants, I wonder? Uh, what animal is even in here? The Gariel. So that's not good. The Gariel will eat the crap out of those elephants. Um, let's try over here, maybe. Yeah, so I don't know how much water this is, but it's almost set up to be um, the right location. We have to make sure, though, that we leave this space open for the Bengal Temple uh, for our Bengal Tigers. Uh, but this area looks okay. And lastly, can we add water? We cannot manipulate the terrain. So we have to find a place with a lot of good water for our elephants to sit. And this might actually be a place back here. If we can run a path this way. Yeah, I might have to build some temporary exhibits to see exactly how big is this. What in the gravy do we got back here? Is this a hint that this is where the Indian elephants need to go? Possibly. Uh, but we'll put the enclosure around here and we'll see exactly how much water uh, is in that area there for our Indian elephants. Because uh, other than that, we've got a very small location here. That's our Baird's tape here, I believe. We have a small bit of water here, but that is our um, mandrills. Yeah, we're sort of, we have our hands sort of tied on the location of our elephants. It's either going to be here and not a whole lot of room to move, or it's going to be over here or here. And this looks like the biggest body of water. So I'm hoping this is enough water space right here for us to, uh, to get. So it looks like the elephants are going to be uh, put over here. Looking at the power situation, we are all well and good. So we're on our way. Animals are happy. We've got everything sort of stable. So now we're making money. Now we're getting in um, some people. Let's take a look at our... So our shop profit was 7500 for the first year. With more people coming in, that's going to increase. And especially if we put a few more shops down by the elephants, uh, say in this zone here, uh, we'll increase that. There has been a power cut. Yeah, so the game is sort of set to where you have these rolling brownouts. But thankfully, it looks like it's isolated to a few generators. Not that generator, not that generator. And the areas that the power has been cut is already being provided power by our renewable energy. So that is a good thing we did that first and foremost. But that will do it for me in this first episode, everyone. Uh, tune in next time when we place our Indian elephants down and try to get this place built back up. It's very picturesque for sure. I want to do it justice. But that will do it for me and this episode, everyone. It's a, a nice looking place, that is for sure. But like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next Planet Zoo video. Take care.